<laughs> 74 on the campus of UNT and Denton. It's raining outside at the moment. It's been a rainy day today, but that's also really kept us cool. Temps all day long for most of you have only been in the low 70s. Picked up over six tenths of an inch of rain on the campus of UNT. Here's a shot from Cedar Hill. Let me step out of the way. Kind of cool. The different cloud decks there. 73 in Cedar Hill picked up over eight tenths of an inch of rain in Cedar Hill. Look at these temps across the rest of North Texas. You can clearly see where it's been raining today. Low to mid 70s DFW to the west to the southwest. A little warmer across eastern areas where there's been a little sun today and unfortunately you really have not seen much rain at all. 88 in Sulphur Springs, 88 in Clarksville, 86 in Paris. Here's the rain that's falling at the moment or kind of a loop over the last six hours. You can really see how kind of the coverage starting to shrink a little bit. Also the intensity starting to shrink a little bit. Basically it's still left from DFW to the north for the most part and it's just some light rain that's falling and as we head through the remainder of the afternoon and evening it'll slowly taper off and just some spotty rain possible this evening and into tonight some scattered rain overnight tonight but tomorrow morning once again some scattered rain will be out there but I don't expect the coverage tomorrow morning to be as high as what we saw today but it still could be a wet commute in places first thing tomorrow then tomorrow afternoon most showers go away maybe even a little bit of late day sun tries to peek through tomorrow afternoon so it's 40% coverage for the DFW area, lower coverage to the east, a little higher coverage for western, northwestern areas during the day tomorrow. And then as we head into tomorrow night, all things are quiet. Thursday, one last chance for rain for us this week, but it's really not high. It's maybe a few pop-up showers or storms across the eastern half of north Texas. I mean, that coverage really not high at all for most of you. I'm just going to go at optimistic 20% coverage across the area for Thursday, but I really think most areas won't see much at all. It's a little higher for southeastern North Texas and especially kind of down in the deep east Texas there. But for most of you watching right now, maybe a passing shower or storm I'm just kind of thrown in a chance of rain just in case one of those showers or storms happens to move overhead. And as the rain chances go down, temps go up. We're up to 89 Thursday, 90 on Friday. But remember, it is still the early part of September and our normal highs are still in the 90s, anywhere from 92 to 91 through the upcoming weekend. So 90 is right around normal, if not even a degree below normal for this time of the year. And then this weekend we get kind of a reinforcing shot of cooler and drier air, really more so drier air because it's not like it's a huge cool down this weekend, but highs will be in the mid to upper 80s. That's better than 90 but the air will be a lot drier. The humidity will be lower those afternoons, even though it'll be warm won't feel too terrible at all and your morning lows should be rather comfy, especially Sunday and into the early part of next week. In the meantime, tonight cloudy and muggy scattered showers 73 for the low tomorrow. Some scattered showers 85 for the high. I mentioned those morning lows. Look at Sunday morning 64. Monday morning of next week, 63, 65 next Tuesday, and then those morning lows start going up as do the afternoon temps with highs back in the 90s for the second seven of that 14 day forecast. But those lows in the low to mid 60s there late weekend and into the early part of next week, the coolest mornings we've seen in months. And that'll definitely be our first, you know, today was a, we'll call it a taste of fall, but that'll really be a nice taste of fall there. And that's why I'm advertising. I think this upcoming weekend will be the nicest weekend we've had in months as well.